Imagine a world untouched by the relentless march of progress. Lush rainforests, shrouded in an emerald embrace, cloak the interior of North Sentinel Island. This volcanic jewel, nestled amidst the vast expanse of the Indian Ocean, holds its secrets close. Millions of years of isolation have fostered a unique ecosystem, a vibrant tapestry woven by the sights and sounds of nature untamed. Imagine the cacophony of a vibrant dawn chorus, the rhythmic drumming of giant cicadas mingling with the melodious calls of exotic birds unseen elsewhere on earth. The air hangs heavy with the scent of blooming orchids and the earthy musk of the rainforest floor. Coral reefs, like underwater cities bursting with color, fringe the shores. Schools of vibrant fish flit through the crystal clear water, while sleek sharks patrol the deeper waters maintaining the delicate balance of this underwater paradise. This is a timeless Eden, a snapshot of Earth before human intervention, a living museum showcasing the power and resilience of nature. The Sentinelese people, the enigmatic inhabitants of this island paradise, are a captivating mystery. Their fierce resistance to contact with outsiders has left us with mere fragments of information. Genetic studies, however, whisper a fascinating tale. Similarities in their DNA suggest they could be descendants of the very first human migrations out of Africa, arriving on the island a staggering 60,000 years ago. Imagine, these people are living echoes of our own deep ancestry, a testament to the incredible adaptability and resourcefulness of early humankind. Studying an uncontacted tribe like the Sentinelese requires a multidisciplinary approach. Archaeologists on nearby islands meticulously analyze artifacts, searching for clues about past cultural connections. Imagine the thrill of discovery, a shard of pottery hinting at shared ancestry with neighboring islands, a flaked stone tool revealing similar techniques used by early humans across the globe. Anthropologists become detectives, meticulously studying satellite imagery for signs of habitation and analyzing footprints left in the sand to piece together a picture of their daily lives. Imagine the painstaking work of piecing together their society, the size of their groups based on footprint analysis, their possible migratory patterns within the island based on seasonal changes in activity levels, and their potential social structures based on observed interactions. Linguists attempt to decipher the Sentinelese language, a captivating puzzle of clicks, whistles, and chants. Imagine the years spent meticulously recording interactions, identifying patterns, and slowly unraveling the secrets of their communication, perhaps finding connections to lost languages, or revealing entirely unique ways of expressing thoughts and emotions. While direct observation is limited, the evidence suggests the Sentinelese have mastered the art of living in symbiosis with their environment. They likely live in small, semi-nomadic groups, with a deep understanding of the island's seasonal rhythms. Their diet consists of what the island provides, hunted boar, gathered fruits and nuts, fish teeming in the surrounding waters, and even grubs and insects. Imagine the intricate knowledge required to navigate the dense rainforest, identifying edible plants with medicinal properties and learning to avoid poisonous ones. Imagine the skill needed to craft tools from stone, wood, bone, and even shells, Tools honed by generations of experience for hunting, gathering, building shelters, and navigating the seas. Imagine the deep understanding of animal behavior needed for a successful hunt, predicting migration patterns, utilizing natural camouflage techniques to get close to their prey, and crafting weapons from readily available materials. Canoes venturing far from the shore hint at a sophisticated understanding of ocean currents and a mastery of deep sea fishing techniques. Imagine the challenges they overcome, battling the elements in their handcrafted canoes, crafting fishing hooks from bone or sharpened wood, and navigating by the stars, a skill passed down through generations, allowing them to travel vast distances across open water. The Sentinelese way of life is fiercely protected. For centuries, documented encounters with outsiders have been met with a barrage of arrows. Imagine the unsettling sight of figures emerging from the dense foliage, their faces obscured by war paint made from natural pigments like ochre and charcoal, their bodies adorned with intricate body art, a silent testament to their cultural traditions. The reasons for this hostility are likely complex. 
fear of disease, a chilling echo of past encounters where outsiders unknowingly brought devastation like smallpox or measles, could be a factor. Perhaps an even deeper motivation lies in the fierce desire to preserve their ancestral way of life, their traditions a sacred inheritance passed down through generations for millennia. These encounters have often resulted in tragedy, leaving a legacy of fear and mistrust on both sides. The Sentinelese situation presents a complex ethical dilemma. Do we have the right to force contact upon a people who have demonstrably chosen isolation? The potential consequences of intervention are dire. Disrupting their culture, exposing them to diseases their immune systems are not equipped to handle, or irrevocably altering their way of life are unacceptable risks. Imagine the devastation of a common cold sweeping through their population, the erosion of their cultural identity through outside influence, or the depletion of natural resources due to introduced technology. However, some argue for the potential benefits of introducing modern medicine and technology in a respectful manner. Perhaps antibiotics could be left strategically on the shore or in shallow waters, packaged in a way that doesn't disrupt their way of life or educational materials on sustainable practices, depicted through simple drawings or symbols carved on durable wood, could be left in a similar manner. The challenge lies in finding a way to offer these advancements without compromising their autonomy or inciting hostility. International cooperation is crucial. Imagine dedicated researchers, anthropologists, and medical professionals working together to develop a plan that respects the Sentinelese way of life while ensuring their well-being. Ultimately, the decision of whether or not to make contact rests with the Sentinelese themselves. The Sentinelese way of life offers a unique opportunity for introspection. Their self-sufficiency, their sustainable resource management, and their deep connection to nature stand in stark contrast to our own often wasteful and destructive practices. Could studying their tools and techniques inspire the development of more ecologically friendly practices? Perhaps studying their fishing methods, where they take only what they need, could lead to more sustainable fishing practices that don't deplete ocean resources. Imagine a future where we learn to live in harmony with nature, taking only what we need and leaving the rest for future generations. However, it is crucial to emphasize that cultural exchange should occur without direct contact, through respectful observation and a deep appreciation for their unique way of life. North Sentinel Island remains an enigma, a world shrouded in mystery. The Sentinelese people, the last guardians of a timeless past, continue to thrive in their isolated paradise. Protecting this isolation is essential for their continued survival. The future holds an open question, could there ever be peaceful contact initiated by the Sentinelese themselves? Perhaps one day a bridge of understanding could be built, allowing for mutual learning and a chance to glimpse into each other's worlds. Imagine a future where communication is established, not through force, but through trust and respect. The Sentinelese, on their own terms, could share their knowledge of sustainable living passed down through generations. In return, we could offer medical advancements, not to disrupt their way of life, but to ensure their continued well-being. This future may seem distant, but it is a future worth striving for. The story of the Sentinelese people is a profound reminder of the enduring power of nature and the resilience of the human spirit. It compels us to reconsider our relationship with the environment and to strive for a future where all cultures can thrive in harmony. As we learn from the unseen, we may pave the path towards a future where humanity coexists with the natural world in a more sustainable way. By ensuring its survival, we safeguard a vital link to our past and a potential key to a more sustainable future. This island and its people stand as a beacon of hope, reminding us that another way of living is possible, a way that respects the natural world and all its inhabitants. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content like this. It's London Ray!